Hello. Today, we're going to be talking about stroke. More specifically, how high blood pressure is connected to stroke and how hypertension can increase one's probability of having a stroke. Now, what is a stroke? According to the National Stroke Association, stroke is like a brain attack and it occurs when blood flow to the brain is suddenly cut off. This means that the brain is suddenly deprived of oxygen and thus the brain cells begin to die in minutes. The scariest part of a stroke is that it can happen to anyone at any given time. But how does this all connect to high blood pressure? Well, if you've already had a stroke sometime before, then that means you probably also have a high blood pressure. When your blood pressure is consistently above 140 over 90, it can be said that you have high blood pressure. It means that your heart is pumping harder than it actually should be, and that also you are more likely to have a stroke. In fact, there are two main types stroke. A stroke caused by blocked blood flow or an ischemic stroke, and a stroke caused by internal bleeding in and around the brain, also called a hemorrhagic stroke. The first type is when a blood vessel is blocked by something, causing or preventing the blood to enter the brain and thus depriving the brain of oxygen. This causes the brain cells to die in a matter of minutes. This type of stroke is more likely with high blood pressure since the high blood pressure increases the speed of arteriosclerosis, a condition that makes the walls of the arteries harder, narrower, and filled with fatty plaque. The second type of stroke is actually more dangerous than the first one, and it's actually more deadly. And it happens because there is a bleeding inside or around the brain. It happens when a weak blood vessel bursts open, usually due to aneurysm. And high blood pressure increases the risk of having this type of stroke because high blood pressure damages and weakens the blood vessels, therefore making them more susceptible to burst open. High blood pressure can also cause blood clots that lead to minor mini-strokes. These are called transient ischemic attacks or TIAs. And although most people fully recover from TIAs, it is also a warning sign that a full-blown stroke will happen sometime in the future. But we can always prevent stroke. How? Well, if you can get your blood pressure under control, you can reduce your chance of having a stroke by almost half. Also, you can consume less sugar, salt, and saturated fat. Also avoid artificial trans fat. Instead, you should eat more fruits, fiber, and green leafy vegetables. Also, don't smoke and limit your alcohol. You should exercise regularly and limit or don't be stressed because studies show that stress can actually lead to stroke. We hope you learned a little something and maybe possibly enjoyed our video. If you want more, click the like button below and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.